Hello, metalworking mavens. Today, we're unraveling the enigma of sheet metal setback. It's a term that's tossed around in the metal bending world, but what does it really mean and why should you care? Let's find out. Before we dive into setback, let's get acquainted with the mold line and bend line. The bend line is that straight line on both sides of the bend plates, while the mold line is formed at the intersection of the outer surfaces of two bent flanges. The setback is the distance from any bend line to the mold line. In simpler terms, it's the difference between the mold line length and the flange length. In a 90 degree bend, the setback value equals the bend radius plus the sheet metal thickness. Setback isn't just a term, it's a pivotal element in workpiece design. Especially when you're dealing with multiple bends, subtracting the setback for each bend is crucial. And while the bend allowance and deduction can dance to the tunes of the K factor value, the setback stands its ground remaining constant. Inside setback, outside setback, yes, there are types. The outside setback, for instance, can be calculated with a nifty formula, OSSB equals tan A2 times T plus R. And here's a gem. The sum of bend deduction and bend allowance is equal to two times the outside setback. So, there you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour into the world of sheet metal setback. It's not just numbers and angles. It's the silent force ensuring that every bend is a masterpiece of precision. If this deep dive into sheet metal setback enlightened your metalworking journey, hit that like button and subscribe for more insights. Stay tuned and keep bending with precision.